Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright, and um, today's video is about you can't hide behind solicitors anymore if you've overstayed. Um, a lot of overstayers feel vulnerable. They're trying to regularize their status, and it used to be the position where immigration lawyers could have documentation sent through them. They would pay the immigration health surcharge through their bank account, your biometric cards and any other documents would be done through them. And all, all the documentation would be done through the solicitor and the Home Office would return all the documentation, including the biometric card, to the solicitor. That's not the case anymore. The immigration lawyer can help you with all the forms and do whatever it is and tell you what chance you have of getting it and give you all the expert advice. But when it comes to getting your actual biometric card, that will be sent to the address that you gave on the application. So this is one way that they can tell. I mean, you've obviously been approved to get the biometric card, but they need to keep tabs on you. So now, if you haven't picked up that biometric card, and it gets sent back because it has to be signed for, that means you are going to be in problems down the line. So you can't be giving friends addresses and other people's addresses. They're, whoever you involve in that scenario is going to be tagged into their investigations. So just be careful. Whatever you're doing, do above board. Don't try to go around the back door because there's too much intelligence out there. Too many people are linked up. They used to try, they tried to stop accounts, freeze accounts through the banks. But now, um, because apparently it would be too complicated, I believe that they stopped doing it because they want people, whether you're legal or illegal, to put money in the bank. And it's your hard luck if you get caught and you're illegal and you get shipped out of the country and they freeze your account because as far as they're concerned, you weren't entitled to put it in there. So they're not going to stop that. They're very, very, they're not silly. Anyway, so all I'm saying that is, you know, now just if you're going to try and regularise yourself, you have to, if, especially if it's the 20 rules, you have to be squeaky clean. Um, moral character covers a gamut of, um, in, a gamut of intricacies you know, from deceit, from putting the wrong thing on the form through, oh, I can't even imagine, you have to be a bloody angel for those 10 years and no breaks and all of that stuff. I'm not even going to go in that because I've said it before, but all I'm saying is that in order to get your, in order to get regularised in the UK, you have to be squeaky clean. And if you're a bit dodgy, well, you're going to be found out at some point. So it's not great news, but hopefully it puts you on the alert. It helps you to know what you're doing. It helps you to know whether or not it's worth staying here in this climate. It just helps, I hope. And that's all for now. Bye bye.